Good morning, lovelies. Today we are asking and answering the question, what is the difference between hard science fiction and soft science fiction? I will give you a moment to get all of the dick jokes out of the way. Now normally this would be pretty cut and dry and this video would be less than three minutes long, but there are actually two different definitions of hard versus soft science fiction. While there is no total consensus on what is the correct definition, one is used more frequently than the other. They are still very different and they're both still in use, so it is very important that you and whoever you're talking to are on the same page as to which definition you are using. Otherwise there's going to be a lot of confusion and frustration and arguing about which book, movie, or show should be categorized as hard or soft. Now the less common definitions differentiate the types of sci-fi based on how much the writer cares about science and rules. Hard sci-fi is extremely rigorous, grounding their story on actual science rather than just winging it. The Martian is a prime example of this, as the author actually crunched the numbers and published them to see if it was possible for a man to survive on Mars. Soft sci-fi, in this instance, is when the author treats the science part of science fiction as more of a guideline than a strict rule. My book is probably on this end of the spectrum. I hated my science classes both in high school and college. They were so boring. It's just basic Googling. That's it. That's what we're going with here. My book Citadel comes out in June 2023 if you want to judge me on it. For a better known example of what would categorize soft science fiction, any brainless Hollywood action movie that's under the sci-fi umbrella, really. In this case, determining whether the story is hard or soft sci-fi is largely dependent on the author's understanding of science and scientific theory, as well as their willingness to actually incorporate it into their story. You could also argue that hard sci-fi stories here focus more on the scientific elements than the world building, asking the question, how would this technology change our world? while soft sci-fi stories focus a lot more on characters and plot. This would put a lot of traditional sci-fi like Asimov's works on the hard end of the spectrum, while more modern works like Ready Player One on soft, because modern stories tend to be a lot more character-driven than the classic sci-fi and fantasy, which focused a lot more on the world building. Although, of course, how science and technology impact the world is still very relevant to how these characters develop and their backstory. It's just not the focus. Jurassic Park is a hard sci-fi novel in every definition, because while its characters do have narrative arcs and react to having dinosaurs chase after them, usually by running, their journey is not the focus here. The focus is the question posed by the scientific premise itself. What happens if dinosaurs appeared in the modern day? Of course we're gonna focus on that. They're dinosaurs! That is better than any half-brained romantic subplot that Hollywood could come up with. Rick and Morty is in a weird middle ground. We're working with a spectrum. There's no rigid boxes here, so there is a lot of gray area and that's where Rick and Morty is. A lot of scientific theories mentioned and explored in the show are actual theories with real experts backing them up. But most of the focus is on the Smith family and how they have developed over time. Rick's technology and aliens and everything else plays a role, but most of the focus is how Rick's dysfunction is poisoning the rest of his family. But that definition, rigorous versus slapstick, focus on science versus focus on characters, that's actually not the most popular definition here. The most popular way to determine whether a sci-fi story is hard or soft is by determining which type of science it's based off of. Hard sci-fi is when the story focuses on more traditional physical sciences, the hard sciences. So this would be engineering, robotics, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and that type of thing. Kind of the typical thing we think of when we hear the word scientist. If the sci-fi element is based on that type of science, you've got yourself a hard sci-fi story. This is probably most science fiction, since it provides the most unique world building and flashier set design. The time travel, the robots, the clones, the aliens, planets in space, all that jazz. In contrast to our last definition, Rick and Morty is firmly on the hard end of the spectrum here, rather than in the middle. This is the same with The Terminator, Altered Carbon, Jurassic Park again. The world of soft sci-fi focuses more on the newer, softer sciences. Psychology, sociology, anthropology, political science, economics, social justice. While you can use the scientific method, hypothesis, research, experimentation, data collection, conclusion, the fact is soft science is based entirely on human behavior. 
and that is almost impossible to predict. If you drop an orange on the floor, a physicist is going to be able to calculate the exact time it will take to hit the floor and probably how high it will bounce back up, and they'll be right about 90% of the time, based on how well their math is. But if you take that orange and you throw it at another person, a total stranger, their reaction is going to vary wildly. Sure, most people would react negatively, likely with yelling and demands to know why you did that, but how many of them will throw something right back? Will they demand an apology or just walk away? Will they call the cops, their friends, or handle it themselves? Will they break down crying? And this reaction isn't just different from person to person, but also within that person's life. How they react when they're 5 is going to be different from how they react when they're 50. How they react to a stranger hucking an orange at their face is going to be different from how they react to a friend, family member, enemy, or other person that they know. Their reaction might be different even at different points of the same day. Do they wake up with the orange being thrown on their face? Does it happen out of the blue? Or do they know it's happening? Are they prepared for it? Did they just get a piece of bad news? Did they just get a job promotion? Because of the nature of soft science and how it is based on the unpredictability of humanity, the science fiction stories that utilize it tend to focus a lot more around society and societal issues, whatever threats or problems or fears we're dealing with at that time. Dystopia novels are almost entirely a study of soft science, especially when they get into the how and why people resist or support such societies. Dune is basically a religious studies and political science book, all in one. The first ever science fiction novel, Frankenstein, is a soft science fiction novel in both definitions, as the focus here is not and how Victor reanimated the corpse and created the monster, but how he, the monster, and crucially, human society all react to each other. And yes, Citadel falls under this category too. I really like soft science fiction. I don't have to crunch nearly as many numbers, but I get to kill off a lot more characters. Once again, there is a middle ground, in this case, stories that pull from both the hard and soft sciences. Star Trek focused a lot on space travel and exploration and the mechanical problems that come from trying to get a spaceship to go where you want it to go. Not to mention the alien versus human biology and the robots. But it also talks a lot about sociology and political science, especially when the ship's crew is dealing with an alien race with weird customs. There's also the traditional existential question of what does it mean to be human embodied in the half-human, half-alien character of Spock. Doctor Who? Same thing. Come for the flashy aliens and the time travel sound effects? Stay for the commentary on how human selfishness and politics grind away at our morality until we wake up and do something about it. That is hard versus soft science fiction. If you want more What's the Difference videos, check out my playlist that explores and compares other genres of science fiction, fantasy, and horror. I've also got a Patreon for bonus content and a tip jar if you want to support the channel. I will see you next time. Bye lovelies.